the 2020 for Nobel Prize in Literature has been awarded to Hong Kong, a South Korean author, for her intense poetic prose that confronts historical traumas and exposes the fragility of human life. Han, 53, began her career with a group of poems in a South Korean magazine, before making her prose debut in 1995 with a short story collection. She later began writing longer prose works, most notably The Vegetarian, one of her first books to be translated into English. The novel, which won the Man Booker International Prize in 2016, charts a young woman's attempt to live a more plant-like existence after suffering macabre nightmares about human cruelty. Han is the first South Korean author to win the Literature Prize, and just the 18th woman out of the 117 prizes awarded since 1901, the prize, announced in Sweden on Thursday carries a cash award of 11 million Swedish kronor, $1 million. Much of Han's work poses the question, voiced by a character in her 2019 novel Europa, whose protagonist is racked by nightmares, if you were able to live as you desire, what would you do with your life? Although many of Han's protagonists are women, her prose works are often narrated from the perspective of men, before my wife turned vegetarian. I'd always thought of her as completely unremarkable in every way. Her novel The Vegetarian begins. However, if there wasn't any special attraction, nor did any particular drawbacks present themselves, and therefore there was no reason for the two of us not to get married. Originally written and published in Korean, The Vegetarian was translated by Deborah Smith who was 28 at the time. Smith, by her own admission, was monolingual until the age of 21, and only chose to pursue Korean due to a lack of English-Korean translators. The Swedish Academy lauded Han's work for her unique awareness of the connections between body and soul, the living and the dead, through her poetic and experimental style, the Academy said. Hon has become an innovator in contemporary prose, Anna Karenpon, a member of the Nobel Committee for Literature, said readers unfamiliar with Hon's work should begin with Human Acts, a 2014 novel reflecting on the 1980 Guangzhou uprising, when more than 100 civilians were killed during pro-democracy demonstrations led by students in the South Korean city. Human Acts shows how the living and the dead are always intertwined and how these kinds of traumas stay in a population for generations, Palm said at Thursday's announcement ceremony, but Han's intense lyrical writing almost acts as consolation in the face of this historical violence, Palm added. Her very tender, precise prose in itself almost becomes a counterforce to the brutal noisiness of power, she said.